Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So have you ever fumbled around for a USB cable like this, which is a nearly extinct Mini-B, which your Tyrannus radio still uses. And when you do find one, you find that it's, it's a little bit too short and you have to sit really, really close to your computer just to play with your flight sim. Or just throw up your hands in frustration because your TX-16 Special Edition uh, radio won't work with your flight sim because you have to roll back your Windows 10 driver. Thankfully, Betaflight has a feature that allows you to connect your computer wirelessly with your radio using parts that you might already have. And this feature has been around since 3.4, so that's maybe why no one is already talking about it. But I'm here to remind you about this feature and I'm going to show you how to use it. Stay tuned. If you've been in FPV long enough, you might have some of these AIO flight controllers lying around. And it uh, doesn't have to be totally working, like this one has a busted OSD, and this one has a busted ESE, some busted MOSFETs. So as long as the flight controller itself can still be recognized by Betaflight and it still has a working receiver, then uh, that's perfect for, for, for what we're going to be using it for. But if you don't have an AIO, any flight controller, any functioning flight controller will do as long as you also have a receiver like uh, uh, you know if you have a spare XM receiver that you're no longer using that's going to be perfect so the only requirements really is that the flight controller is still recognized by Betaflight and that it has a firmware 3.4 and up so once we connect it to Betaflight we just head on over to CLI and, went, and then we type the command uh, shown on the screen if after doing this, you find that Betaflight no longer recognizes your flight controller, you can go to options on the left hand menu and then click on show all serial devices. After restarting Betaflight, your flight controller should appear again on the drop down list. And that's it. Whatever signals that you're receiving from your radio to your flight controller and receiver, it's just going to pass on directly to your computer and your flight controller is going to recognize that as stick movements. All right, so we tested this and this works on in liftoff and uh, with just a little, a little bit of configuration in beta flight, it works flawlessly. We just need to design something better than this old Mobile S6 frame as its case. What you can do is create a 3D printed case for these, but what I did is just take one of these old boxes for the flight controller and just cut out a hole for the USB port and then just use some uh, a lot of hot glue and uh, some foam to keep the flight controller secure. And that's it, Now I now have a portable wireless receiver for my radio. And that's it, now I have this small compact wireless receiver box that I always have near my computer or my laptop. And I can just plug it in with a, with a, my, with a USB, and then just turn on my radio. And since they're already bound, I don't no longer have to fiddle with wires or have to fiddle around with drivers every time there's a new Windows update. Now, if you want to sim on the go, let's say you've been stranded in your hotel room because of a storm or whatever, or a blizzard, then you can also just get, let's say perhaps uh, one of your quads. You just have to set uh, set this in CLI, connect it to your computer, and now you, you can use your quad, connect it to your laptop as the receiver. But don't forget to also to, you know, to undo the command that you did uh, earlier in CLI so that you can all, you can fly your quad again after uh, using it for your sim. So that is going to be it for this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. It's an old piece of information, but no one's talking about it too much right now. So, uh, and I haven't talked about it yet on this channel. If this is the first time you're encountering this feature, then uh, I'm glad to be able to help you out, all right? So if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, uh, please please click on the like the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video please click on the like as well all right so i'm going to leave you with that as always keep building and keep flying <laughs>